hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at installing more fonts on your Linux system. I'm going to be using Debian here. Um, so I'm going to be using an apt or aptitude uh, package manager. Uh, but what we're doing should be pretty standard, you know, just different uh, in, uh, package managers if you're on a non-Debian based system. Uh, but real quick, your, your distribution should have a number of font packages in their repositories. So if I was to use apt or aptitude, I'm going to use aptitude because I just like the way the output looks uh, better. It's a little uh, line by line clearer for me. Uh, but you can use apt or apt get uh, similarly. I'm going to say search and I'll just type in fonts. Now, not everything in this list is going to be a font. Some might be font applications. But let's go ahead and scroll up through our list here. And under the T's, you'll see some here that start with TTF. That would be an example of fonts you can install. And you can also see the description here quickly. And so like this uh, TTF font uh, right here is some juicy fonts, handwriting fonts. So if I want to install that, you can see using aptitude, uh, if it has an I, it's already installed, P does not. So if I wanted to install this TTF, uh, uh, some juicy fonts, it's a funny name. Anyway, I'm going to go sudo apt or aptitude or apt get install and the name of that package. And it'll probably ask for your password, which, I, password, which I've already typed in. And now that those fonts, that package of fonts are installed. And you can look through your package manager and see a number of fonts that are in that are available to you. Um, but if you want to go outside that, those are a lot of basic fonts. In fact, let me go real quick, search that again, come go back up here. Uh, for example, you might want to install something like these MS Core, these Microsoft True Type fonts, because those might be fonts that are commonly used by people, especially coming from a Windows system. And certain applications like Word documents and stuff may not display properly if you don't have the same fonts as them. So some of these packages might be good to install. Uh, so just look through and see what fonts you want to install. Again, that's from Package Manager. There's lots of fonts in there, uh, but you don't really get to see them until you install them, and then you're going to go through them, and you don't know which ones are in each package. Uh, and you might be creating something, and you want to look at the fonts, and you want something that may not be in one of those packages. So let's look at installing packages or um, fonts outside of what's in your repositories. Uh, here, if you were to Google search free fonts, one of the very first sites that's going to come up is this 1001 free fonts. And they have lots of fonts. They show you what they look like right here. You can even uh, type in your custom text here if you wanted to. You can see like Linux and then you can say update and it'll actually show you those fonts with whatever words you type. So you know exactly what uh, the words and some of these are very artistic, not actually uh, letters. But you also break it down to category. Do you want ones that are medieval looking? Ones that are, look like Halloween or sci-fi or uh, a typewriter? So you can narrow down your search like that. But how do you install these? Well, first thing you want to do is download uh, the font file, which is going to download a zip file. And you can unzip it using whatever. Uh, I use unzip from the shell. But if you are in your GUI package manager, you should be able to just double click or right click and say extract to here. And you can see that we have one right here called my type font. So what we need to do is install, well, there's different ways to do this. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to do it from a GUI interface. Uh, and if you're on something like Ubuntu or Linux Mint, uh, you're going to probably already have a font manager installed. So here I am in my um, file browser. And I can double click this and it opens it up in an application, my font manager, and I can quickly click install. It also tells you the name of the font here, my type of font, uh, which sometimes the file name of the, uh, the TTF or in some cases the OTF files may not actually be the name of the font. So you want to look here what the name of the font is so that when you go into your Word document or GIMP or something where you're going to type, you know the name of the font. It's going to be listed up here at the top. All you have to do is click install and it will tell you that it's installed. Uh, and if I was to open up something like Writer, LibreOffice here, and I type in my, uh, what was it called? My type of font, there it is. It's installed. And again, if your system doesn't already have a font manager installed, uh, just do sudo apt install font dash, let me uh, make this full screen here manager and I already have that installed so it's not going to install it again but there you go you can install that and again once you do that you should be able to just double click on a TTF or any type of 
a font file, and then click install. It will give you a preview, and you click install. Now, one other important thing to realize when you do this, so let me download another font here. I'll just download this one here. Again, I'll unzip that uh, carbon type. And if I go here again, I can go carbon type. I double click that. Again, look up here to make sure you know it's called carbon type. Again, because the file name is not necessarily the font name. I'll install that. Go back over here. And if I come up here and I type in carbon, it's not found. Why is it not found? Well, if you already have a lot of, a lot of applications, LibreOffice, Skimp, you try to install a font while the program's already open, it's not going to update the list inside that program. So we'll have to be sure to exit out of the application and then we'll restart my writer. And now I should be able to type in carbon type and there it is, I can type. Also remember when you're working with fonts, uh, they are under copyright, so you have to look at the licenses. On this way, website, they quickly show you it's free. This one's under a public domain GPL, which doesn't make sense. You can't be under both. But, well, I guess you, no, that, I don't think you can do that, for really. Um, some are free for personal use. Some are free for commercial use. Uh, pretty much everyone on this website you can use for personal use. But if you're going to use it for commercial use, you know, flyers, ads, videos you're going to be using some sort of commercial usage, be sure you read um, the licenses and some of them you might have to purchase licenses just to let you know, but they quickly show you here, some are free, some are free for personal use, blah, blah, blah. You can also contact the creator if you wanted to purchase a license. But for the most part, if you're just doing stuff for yourself personally, it's not commercial use. I think every font on this website will be good for that. Um, so yeah, that's using a font manager to install stuff. In the next video, we're going to look at installing stuff um, from the shell, and then we're going to look at bulk installing a bunch of fonts. We're going to write a script that pulls down a bunch of fonts from this 1001 website, which may uh, I haven't read, but it might violate their um, policies, but we're going to do it anyway. Anyway, until then, I do thank you for watching, uh, and I hope that you have a great day.